Well, this makes my last morning on the Jatoi Trace Trail. I'm about 11 miles from the northern terminus. I, uh, it's kind of bittersweet. The uh, journey has been trying at times, hard at times, easy at times. I think that uh, everybody's experience with a long hike is different than others. Uh, so yours may be different than mine. You learn a lot about yourself on a long hike. Last night, just before it got dark, I ran into a female solo southbound hiker. Her name is Kremlin. Shout out to Kremlin. We both stood and talked for 30 minutes or so, knowing the sun was setting. We both needed to get to camp. She seemed like a really cool person. She's hiked AT. Um, I'm not going to publicly say why she chose to hike the Chitoli Trace Trail. That's her secret, but she did tell me, and I thought it was really cute and interesting. And uh, so, shout out to Kremlin. Hope you get to see this. And I hope you enjoy your hike. I'm supposed to be running into another hiker that's camped out about two miles from where I was at. Um, might it be known that I kind of camped in a place that would normally be frowned upon. Right next to Holly Fork Road was a little patch that, as I crossed the road, a car come by and its headlights illuminated it. And it was just flat enough to set my tent up on. So I kind of stealth camped there. You know, when it gets to be dark and it's hard to see, you're not so picky about where you camp at. And I know it was on the National Forest boundaries. Um, but, you know, without a campfire and didn't use my headlight much. And matter of fact, if I heard cars approaching, I would shut my headlight off if I had it on. So uh, I left it just the way that it was when I got there, so nobody ever knows that I camped there. I was also up and out before the sun come up, so. So I'm on my last 11 miles. My pack is pretty light. I, uh, I did a zero day, so I actually have one day of food left. Um, I made up the miles for my zero day by night hiking more than once. And uh, I'm actually completing on time as, as I had scheduled. Today is Saturday. I'm trying to talk quiet because I don't know where this other hiker is at. And I don't want to like wake him up if he's still asleep. I haven't really recorded a lot of videos of like walking like I did the first time. Mostly because I just ramble on and rattle about everything. All of my gear worked great. I have to uh, give an update on the MP3 player. I'll put a link to it above. I only had to recharge it twice in 14 days. And once was only because of convenience. I was at the uh, cabin with the uh, mending the broken leg not broken but you know hurt leg and I just recharged everything while I was there so it was fresh again so that was day five or six so I think honestly I would have only had to recharge it once in 14 days um, I left it on last night and run the battery down so <laughs> I have no mp3 player today um, But the MP3 player has been great. I didn't worry about pl creating playlists or shuffling the music. I just put it on Play All Music, which was over 4,000 songs. And it, it played music. <laughs> um, at some point in time during the trail, it started to repeat the playlist. So I must have played over 4,000 songs in 14 days. Yesterday, I actually didn't think I was going to make the mileage I had set for myself. 
I wanted to get more than 15 days so that I or 15 miles so that I had less than 15 miles today and uh, from from where Moorhead State University is until I think it's Kentucky 799 or something like that uh, was pretty grueling because I had gone from the day before so Thursday morning at 7 a.m. until I got to camp last night on no sleep hiking straight non-stop night hiked um, run out of energy but when I got to that 799 it was like a five mile easy road walk and I burned through that in like an hour and a half so uh, I don't know what my exact mileage was for yesterday but I only have 11 miles to go today which is great should be should make me done around around uh, maybe two or three o'clock I'm not gonna go like busting butt today because I know that my car is safe Kremlin told me that she saw it the windows were still intact <laughs> it's been sitting at the northern terminus the whole time I've been out and uh, anything else that I can think of hmm. if you get the opportunity to hike Chitauri Trace Trail go ahead and do it it's uh like I said it's challenging at times is trying it will push you to your limits mentally and physically at times and more than once I wanted to just quit you know you you get tired of eating spider webs every five or ten steps the umbrella works great for that but sometimes you need both trekking poles so you just eat the spider webs um, I had a lot of rain on this trip because of both Hurricane Harvey remnants of it and also Hurricane Irma remnants of it. Uh, we've had a lot of rain this year so there weren't any water shortages. I carried uh, 20 ounces of water at most 98% of the time. <laughs> a lot of times I carried no water and I would just get water every five miles or so. Uh, water was that readily available that most actually I would say 75% of the time I carried no water 23% of the time I carried 20 ounces and 2% of the time I carried one liter which was usually if I was going to camp somewhere not near a water source and I wanted water for my dinner and coffee in the morning so one liter worked for that and uh made it really nice that means that my entire pack weight for the whole entire trip was always under 20 pounds um, today it's probably well I have the two knee braces that I had to add on a McKee and I haven't weighed them but I'm gonna guess they weigh about a pound a piece so that would put me at uh, 742 842 942 for today uh, wait I have a day extra food so 1042 for today uh, if I could find a uh, if I could find a hiker that would need an extra day's food I would give it to him <laughs> just to get rid of it <laughs> um, anyways I'm going to get off here so I can get this done I'll update later with something new I met another hiker on the trail, Pete Landfield from, I uh, can't remember now if he said Lexington or Louisville. I think he said Louisville. Uh, stopped and talked with him for about 30 minutes. He shared some of his coffee with me, which was awesome because I didn't have coffee this morning. And we discussed gear and challenges of the trail and uh, that sort of thing. One thing I tried to tell him was, this trail will do everything it can to break you and to not let it because he was like yeah I started out yesterday I intended to get 16 miles he goes but when I got right here I just stopped he's probably 10 miles in maybe 11 not really sure 
I did give him some of my cotton ball fire starters. He told me that he could not get a fire started last night for anything. Um, he tried some magnesium fire steel and some matches and different methods. So I gave him my cotton ball fire starters. I probably had enough. Uh, last him this whole entire hike. I'm not sure. He said he's going to uh, Cave Run uh, Clear Creek area, I believe. So that would definitely last him there, even if he had to use two or three a night. There was probably 10 or 12 uh, thirds of a cotton ball with petroleum jelly on it. They'll burn for four or five, six minutes each. I added him as a friend on Facebook, and we plan to go hiking at the gorge sometime in the future. Uh, he said he hikes at the gorge quite a bit. Sometimes his girlfriend goes with him. And uh, so, yeah. I'm kind of excited. I've met two new friends on this hike that uh, I wouldn't have met otherwise. They both seem like really good people, Kremlin and Pete Landfield. So shout out to both of you. Happy trails. Hope you all get your miles in for today. And uh, hope this trail brings everything to you experience-wise, mentally and physically that you're both looking for. So until the next update, that's all. I wonder how many people got freaked out they had to walk with cows. Oh, there's a deer stand too. They're all just looking at me like, uh, what's your name? This could be my very last break. It's only about 11 and I still have a few miles to go. Nine actually. <laughs> and I was just sitting here thinking that this might be my last, my last break. My last energy drink. I'll probably end up taking another one, but I really, it's kind of bittersweet. It's like, I want this to end. I'm glad that it's going to end. But at the same time, I don't want it to end. And I want it to continue to do this. I don't know why, but when I saw that, the first thing that I said was, that's kind of representative of the living carrying the fallen. Let's go back to the very beginning. When I first started this trail, I started it right before my birthday. And um, I was doing it sort of as a remembrance to my father who passed away a few years ago on my birthday. And we used to enjoy doing things outdoors, camping, hunting. We never really ever went hiking together. I mean, we did a lot of woods walking, but it was usually during hunting season. And so when I first started this trail, it was kind of as remembrance to him. And I wanted to go hiking with him. So with that being said, there's really been a lot of emotions today. And it's, it's kind of been a challenge just to get the miles in. The last few miles so I'm sitting here taking a break put my cool cap back on dry cap whatever they're called sweating like a um, sweating like a person hiking this Tolly Trace Trail <laughs> I just come up a pretty pretty large climb and uh, I don't know like I said it's bittersweet one side of me wants to get this over with and the other side never wants it to end And I can't remember if I said this in the last video segment I did, but I've been texting Kremlin throughout the day, this morning more than now. Um, I'm without cell phone service, so she probably wonders why I stopped replying, but that's the reason. 
she seems like a really cool person. I would actually like to get the opportunity to hike with her at some point in time. I was telling her all about Red River Gorge and how the Chitali Trace tra Trail passes like five of the most iconic things in the gorge before you get to the suspension bridge and the, the trail guide doesn't really mention them. I got about three miles left and let me just say the last day has been the hardest day even though it's the day with the fewest miles now part of that is because of my own fault where I underestimated how much water and nutritional needs I would need on the last day so I'm kind of feeling like I'm running on empty all the time uh, I haven't had water for a while and then the other part of it is a lot of the trails are just overgrown with briars and I've got shorts on and my legs are already ate up. and So uh, it's been a trying, challenging, tiring day, but I got three miles left. There's a water source, I think, in two more miles. And that's going to be where hopefully my next break is. And I'm going to like drink way too much water to make the last mile really miserable probably. But uh, I'll update later. Well, I made it to the north, northern terminus, Saturday, September 16th, 6.37 p.m. Bittersweet that it's over, but I'm glad that it is. You know, I said earlier on one of the videos that I'm sad today is the last day, but I wish it never ended. <laughs> 